Hey guys, Dark Zombie here, and doing a, another Transformers video. And uh, today I'm gonna be reviewing Crosshairs. And actually, uh, before I talk about them for uh, in a minute, right now, um, I have two things to tell you. He does actually come with two uh, two of these little guns, but. I don't really like scaling them with both of them. I like scaling them with the big one and the little one. But I would really prefer to have a big one, uh, two big ones. But that's just me. Um, and the other thing, I can probably already hear the I can already hear the co uh, angry comments coming to me right now. Weren't you gonna review Slog? Weren't you gonna review the Voyager Drift? Yes. But there wasn't enough comments on which one I should review. Uh, so I decided, screw it. I'm going to review this guy. And... Um... I don't really care what anybody says. I actually like this figure. I'm sure he has a little bit of kind of a backpack, but... All, all the deluxe class figures do. Or not all of them, but most of them. Like... He has it. Um, Sideswipe has it, and I won't be reviewing mine because my uh, on my figure the hood's missing. So you're gonna have to wait for me to review, talk about this guy. Um, even though there are some figures out there that doesn't don't have much of a backpack, people are getting so pissed off. It's like, oh my gosh, his backpack is so huge. Um, look at the size of Drifts. Almost, uh, they're basically the same size. Except Drifts is a little more sleek. This one's a little more bulky, but... Or not bulky. Um, has a little more car part to it. Um, uh, to get to the transformation... Actually, before I talk about the transformation, I'm actually going to talk about the robot mode. I really enjoy the robot mode it looks very very movie accurate even though it is a little bulky like it's kind of on the wide side um i thought it was kind of cool let's get these weapons out of here um um i'm i'm one of, i feel like the only pe person who actually tabs them in because people are getting so worried, it's like, oh, they're gonna tear. I've got, I have had this guy ever, like, pretty much ever since the uh, Age of Extinction came out. And I've been tabbing him in since day one, and they've never torn. It's either that I really, uh, uh, steady hands, or calm hands, or whatever. I don't shake much. Um... Maybe that maybe that's the reason, or maybe I'm I just don't give a crap. I don't know. Um, and since I I actually haven't done a really a much of a scale uh, scale comparison, since I can't compare it to my this guy because he's not even a Age of Extinction figure. I just showed him because he kind of had a back kibble. Um, here he is next to. Oh, you can barely see it. Uh, here he is next to Hound, and they scale very nicely together, even though they never really stood uh, next to each other in the movie. Um, and um, here he is next to Drift, who they scale very nicely together. I think the only figure that I have that Crosshairs doesn't scale very well with is my Age of Extinction concept Bumblebee because Bumblebee is a little taller than this guy and in the movie Crosshairs was bigger and that kind of annoys me a little bit but uh, not entirely too much because Bumblebee is not even a it's almost a head taller so so you can barely tell um so getting to the transformation and it's actually very simple. All the Age of Extinction ones are. Uh, tab his arms back. I'll, I'll show you on the other arm. 
um, his arms, you peg him back until you hear it snap, and then peg the wheels down. And kind of straighten out his head is the best you can. Oh, and look, this one already came out. Uh, on mine, like, they come out very, very easily, except for this one. You kind of had to, uh, you kind of have to kind of wiggle it a little bit. This is what I do. I kind of grab, his arm kind of gets in the way sometimes. Um, you kind of have to grab both sides and kind of, like, shimmy it out, out of that hole. The other one falls out, like, immediately as soon as you, like, transform this arm. This one is a little hard to do because it it kind of gets it, it's tabbed in there very good. Oh, there we go. Okay, I didn't tear it, which is good. Actually, they should replace that tab with like plastic or something, but, uh, or something. And fold his feet up. Fold in the heel spur and. Fold in the other heel spur and rotate his legs around. Um, and there's like a little tab underneath this, and there's a hole right there that that just tabs onto. And you can just peg that into place. And on my figure, or pretty much on every crosshairs figure. This is how you're actually supposed to transform the arm. This le leather, this leather bit. You, when you're transforming the arm, you have to kind of push it back a little bit and overlap the elbow over it, and then tab it in. It's kind of hard to do, as you can see. Kinda. There we go. I got tabbed in, and there we go. And this arm's a little bit easier. For some reason, I don't know why. Overlap, or sometimes it's easier. There we go. And then the last thing you do is fold this down, and just pinch everything together. And these tiny guns, I think the thing I hate about them the most, you can't storm in vehicle mode. You can kind of storm in robot mode, like underneath these leather bits, but it ruins the vehicle mode because you, can, you can't you can peg his arms in very good. But the gun, the big one, the reason why I like this one so much because it, it can actually tab into vehicle mode as weapon storage. And it's a, it's because there's a, there's a little tab right there. And a little hole right there. And it's kind of hard to get to, but not so hard. And then it should look like that. And here you have Crosshairs in his vehicle mode. And I think I like his vehicle mode a little bit more than robot mode. But... I do have a few problems with it, and when I mean my few, I only have one problem with it. This side, because on this side there's a real, uh, this really, really nice deta detail that even continues through the back of here. And, but it's not on this side for some reason. If they actually put that paint job on this side, I would have loved this figure so much. That I think he would beat the hound figure. Yeah, because that's why this guy is my third favorite figure. Same with Drift. Uh, they're both my third favorite. Hound is my second. And Optimus is my first. And this was Dark Zombie reviewing the Crosshairs figure. And tell, uh, comment down below what your thoughts on this figure was or don't because I usually don't get comments and um see you guys next time with possibly uh, a dr uh, the drift figure or possibly Galvatron or something or possibly if I get more comments possibly the Voyager d Drift or Slog it depends um but 
I'll see you guys next time with something. I'm, I'm just going to leave it at that. Something. Bye. Oh, okay. Before I forget, um, no, I did not copyright any songs. I actually made that in GarageBand that you can actually get on the like the tablet, an iPhone, the computer, any like any sort of device really. And it's a lot of fun. You can like you can create songs, stuff like that. It's a really fun app and it's free, by the way. You can anybody can really get it. Um now I should say bye. Uh, bye. Uh, because I, I just made the video longer. Sorry about that.